build an efficient, loyal, hard-working organization only to find its morale weakened by the personal, financial, and political ambitions of schemers who endeavor to belittle the honest efforts of honest men. For such persons, I only have the utmost scorn and contempt. They are a disgrace to the profession of law enforcement. By their destructive methods, by their underhanded and scurrilous efforts to weaken some honest organization which has aroused their jealousy, they flaunt to the criminal world an invitation to arise in new depredations. They spread the glad word to thief, robber, counterfeiter, and murderer that the underworld has a friend in what should be the palace of stern, honest, efficient, and unswerving justice. It is inevitable that the Federal Bureau of Investigation should be no more immune from such attacks than any other honest force which zealously works for law enforcement. It is inevitable that such detractors, such forces of belittlement, should attempt to use the shortness of public memory in an effort to undermine the efforts of an efficient organization. We have recently heard that it was a shame to kill a nice young man like John Dillinger. We have recently heard from certain sources which should be aligned unalterably with the forces of law enforcement rather than lending aid and comfort to the foul hordes of crime that the special agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation have a habit of running wild, of shooting men on sight, and of issuing orders to kill this, that, or the other person. There is only one answer and only one way to answer such maliciously untrue statements, and that is to look at the official record. Let us see what is revealed there. 